Feel the wake up. Five. Better than not. <laughs> Good answer. Impossible Dream Catamaran is a wheelchair accessible sailboat. She was designed from the keel up to be universally accessible. Our mission to raise awareness for barrier free design and through sailing improve the lives of those with disabilities. We sail with a mixed ability crew and each year we take out over a thousand people for day sails. This year, we want you to be part of our virtual adventure. Welcome aboard. It's literally 5, 5.30 in the morning. Yikes, turn it. You're turning it on while I'm fixing my hair. Don't do that. I'll edit it out. So how's it look now? Good morning. We're up bright and early because we're going over to the folks at Volvo Penta and they're gonna help us fix our lift. But we're gonna go over there and uh, a couple of their engineers are gonna jump on the boat and they're going to look at our lift and see what they can do to help out. We have uh, hydraulic lifts, four of them, uh, two inside and two outside to get on the dock. And our port side lift, the shaft has broken. Uh, it's an aluminum shaft and it's uh, sheared. The motor turns, the shaft doesn't turn. So that lift doesn't work. So we need to get a new shaft in there and uh, fabricate some pulleys. All of this is custom fabrication that uh, is very expensive. So these guys at Volvo have uh, volunteered to help us out with it. We definitely want to get that one back up and running. So you can pull into either side or what happens if this one breaks now. It's nice to have a backup. We are getting close to the dock at Volvo Penta. Once we tie up, we get to meet some of the amazing folks that worked super hard to help set this up for us. The technicians at Volvo Penta are generously donating their time to help us fix our lift. Will is going to show them what's going on and they're going to work together to help us find a solution and get that port side lift working again. Okay, there's a uh, hydraulic motor and so the motor turns but the shaft doesn't. So I don't know if the bearings froze up or could it be and then it just broke it. There's a, there's a key keyed on there, like a keyway. Hi, I'm Bob Cracker with Volvo Penta. Uh, I'm in charge of product testing for Volvo Penta of the Americas. I'm Valerie Harriel. I work for Volvo Penta. We're located in Chesapeake, Virginia, in the United States. Uh, hi, my name is Justin Boyd. I work for Volvo Penta, and I'm proud to be a part of this company, and I'm proud to be a part of the Impossible Dream. A couple of years ago, we got involved with the Impossible Dream. Uh, this incredible boat. It's great to be with the Impossible Dream Wonder Warrior Project again. Last year I had the pleasure to ride on the Impossible Dream with the Volvo Early Career Professional Network team. It was great to be a part of that and show off what this boat can do and, and its accessibility. Through our partnership with Volvo Penta, we were connected with the Wounded Warrior Project. Last year we were able to participate in the Norfolk Harbor Fest Parade of Sail. We were able to take out many of the wounded warriors as well as some Volvo Penta employees on the boat during the parade. Inside now, the Impossible Dream is in the parade of sail, and they hold a special ride along for local wounded warriors. It's a wheelchair accessible catamaran sailboat designed to be sailed by people with disabilities, and it's here at Harborfest for this 43rd annual Harborfest. I think that the Wounded Warrior Project and the Impossible Dream Catamaran is a fantastic idea. Uh, we were able to go out on the water with you guys last year and it was great to talk to the veterans. This is a great opportunity to show the veterans that we care and to thank them for their service. And we're so glad that you came back again this year to visit with us. The design of this boat is incredible and I hope as more people see it, it will inspire them to get involved with uh, the Impossible Dream and this great cause. Last year we got a nice tour and we were able to see what it looks like to have a boat that really is accessible to those uh, who need to be in wheelchairs and it's wonderful what you've done. So the important thing about this trip is that the Impossible Dream Catamaran has 
had a little uh, item that needed to be fixed with the pulleys so that it could be more accessible for wheelchairs. And so I got the phone call, I think last week, to say, did we have a way to help you? And so I'm really glad that our technicians this morning were able to get with you, get on the boat, identify a pulley that needed to be repaired, work on it. This is like, uh, this is like me pulling into the pit, pit row in the Daytona 500. Probably the thing to do is cut the shaft, pull it out, rebuild it all on the bench and put it back in. How's your back? <laughs> he said we have a hole in the bottom of the boat now. Is that true? Uh, just, just in the side there. Uh, Dave's done. If the shaft is out, he's just making us some covers to cover up those holes so we don't get water in the boat. And uh, we're pretty much done here. Dave, what you doing in there? Plugging up a couple of holes so the boat don't sink. Yeah. <laughs> boom, bam, boom, just like in the in the pits in the drag racing. Dave is a guy who, who under promises and over delivers. Yeah. We're psyched. We're going back out on the water to sail. Their wheelchair lift on their port side was not working. So uh, Dave Onspach, my fabricator, uh, came on board and we disassembled it and we got to manufacture new parts. And when you finish your journey up north and you come back, you'll be able to pick it up and then you'll be able to load wheelchairs on both the right and the left side of the Catalan. I think that's a success story. This is not the first time Volvo Penta has been there for us. Two years ago, our starboard side engine broke down in the middle of our summer trip. They donated and helped us install a brand new diesel engine. We have a lot of outreach to the community uh, in selected areas, and a lot of it has to do with the marine industry. And so it's really great that the catamaran has mobile Penta engines and uh, we provided those and helped with uh, getting those for the uh, Impossible Dream. We're noted as a great place to work and part of the reason we're a great place to work is that we do give back to the community. Due to COVID-19, we weren't able to take out the groups that we normally do and that we did last year, but we're making plans. So we hope to do that next year. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> The last thing to do before leaving the Volvo Penta dock is to say goodbye to our crew member, Evan. He's hopping on a plane and heading back to Miami today.